if you want a straight answer, yes, you should upgrade to the RX 9070 XT if you're coming from the RX 6700 XT. This card right here is a really great card. However, how much more performance are you getting jumping from the RX 6700 XT to the RX 9070 XT? So, we're going to run both of these cards and these games in... We're going to run it in 1440p and 4K. And we're going to put it on our 9800X 3D rig so we can see it's all full blast, right? And for those who are new to the channel, this is our testing methodology. Okay, let's start with our first game. War Zones, and we're at basic settings, 1440p. We have used upscalers here, FSR 3 for the RX 6700XT and FSR 4 for the 9070XT. Right off the bat, boys, look at that performance gains. That's almost about 50% on raw FPS gains with the RX 9070XT. Lows are pretty good as well. That's, what, about 35%? And that's across the board, right? Whether we are doing the running benchmark or the firing benchmark, we're getting all these gains. Now, one other thing to note here is the power consumption. With the 9070 XT, we are definitely using 100 watts more. But hey, we're getting insane performance gains, so that's okay. Next game is Marvel Rivals. We're running at 1440p native here. And once again, boys, look at the difference in performance. This is not even a contest, bro. You're getting about, what, more than 200% gains in frame rates with the RX 9070 XT. And this is probably the game wherein you will gain the most in all the games we feature here. At Delta Force 1440p native, it's the same story here boys really huge gains when we jump to the rx 9070 xt from our rx 6700 xt on the walking benchmark you'll be getting about 80 percent more in terms of raw fps and about 100 percent more on the lows with slightly lower on the static scenes but when we move over to the firing benchmark we're back to double that amount next up is apex legends we are at 1440p native here and here's our heavy action benchmark and look at that one boys we are hitting the maximum 300 fps gap with our RX 6700 XT and we are getting about 50% more frame rates compared to our RX 6700 XT and we definitely have the better stability as well as shown on our lows. On the static shots, we're still getting about 40% more FPS when you upgrade to the RX 9070 XT. So yes, this is definitely worth it if you main Apex Legends. And guys, before we proceed, if you like videos like this, click the subscribe button. Okay, let's move on to our more competitive titles which require a whole lot of frame rates. We might be CPU bottleneck here, but what we're looking out for is the driver overhead. First up is Fortnite performance mode 1440p. Once again, we're getting massive FPS on both of our cards, but the RX 97 XT definitely has the lead here. Look at that difference, boys. That's only about 18% more on the frame rates, which is still good considering that we are not GPU bottleneck here. It's also get some gains on the lows as well for the RX 9070 XT. Yes, this is pretty minor, but hey, it's still a gain, right? Later on, when we move on to our 4K things, let's see if this lead widens with the RX 9070 XT. Next up is Valorant, and if you're familiar with our things, you would know that this game functions differently. The more GPU usage you have, the more stable your experience will be in this game. So it's more about balance. And right in here, you will see that the RX 9070 XT does take the small lead in terms of raw FPS, but the lows, they're pretty close with the RX 6700 XT. When we move up to the heavy action benchmarks, the lows are actually now better with the RX 6700 XT. One interesting observation here is that the GPU power. The RX 9070 XT is actually lower and that's probably because we have lower GPU usage with the RX 9070 XT. Okay, let's move on to a much slower paced game and that's PUBG. And this is running 1440p DX11 enhanced. And look at that one boys, that's a significant jump if you upgrade to the RX 9070 XT. That's what like more than 80% gains on raw frame rates and we're still getting pretty good numbers on our lows. We're both GPU bottleneck here. On the heavy action benchmarks, the gains drop a little bit for the RX 9070 XT. However, that's still pretty good. That's 60% gains bro. And look at the difference between the lows. Okay, let's move on to games that are non-PVP. So we can just chill a bit with the settings. First up is Helldivers 2, 1440p medium settings and no upscaling in here. And this one's 
a pretty straightforward, right? On our Gatling benchmark, you will be getting about 80% more frame rates with our X9070 XT. And on our Stratagem benchmark, it does even pushes further. So sure, you will be using more power with the 9070 XT, but it's definitely worth it. This upgrade is just amazing. Next game is Battle of Exile 2. Now, this game doesn't usually run very well with AMD cards, but hey, let's just have a look. We're running 1440p with FSR here. And once again, we're getting more than double the frame rates when you jump into the 9070 XT. That's pretty low on our RX 6700 XT right here once we fully flush out these glacial orb spills. 65 FPS is pretty bad, right? So the RX 9070 XT may not be the best card for this game, but it sure is a much better experience than our older RX 6700 XT. Next up is Cyberpunk 2077, 1440p native ultra settings, and boom, look at that one, boys. 100 FPS on our 9070 XT and only a measly 40 FPS on our 6700 XT. Phew! That's over 100% gains right there. This one's pretty obvious on why you should upgrade to the 9070 XT if you're considering it. In terms of the VRAM usage, we're only using about 7 gigabytes of VRAM at 1440p Ultra. We'll have to monitor this later on when we go to 4K. And let's do that! 4K testings. First up is our usual Call of Duty Warzone. 4K settings with upscalers and you can just see there the gap widening between these two cards. You are getting about 200 FPS with the 9070 XT while you're getting almost half of that with the RX 6700 XT. And this goes across the board whether we are on the running benchmark or on our firing benchmark. And yeah, RX 6700 XT is not designed for 4K but if you are someone who are used to playing 1440p, the RX 9070 XT will open the 4K horizon. In Marvel Rivals 4K with upscalers, ultra quality, we were struggling with our 6700 XT previously and this resolution just amplifies it. You are getting about 100 FPS on the 9070 XT while you will be getting decent level of 30 FPS with the 6700 XT. That's what? From unplayable to playable frame rates. In Delta Force 4K with DSR quality turned on, the RX 6700 XT is playable but we're only getting about 80 fps with this gpu while you will be getting almost double that with the 9070 xt and this is the same thing across the benchmarks whether we are on the walking static or the firing benchmark especially on the firing benchmark this pushes that even further to about 100% lead for the 9070 XT. In Apex Legends 4K, I'm not really sure if people who play this will be using 4K resolution, but for the sake of this thing, yes, you will definitely be getting a huge bump in frame rates with our 9070 XT. That's more than 100% gains on our heavy action benchmark and even goes through our static benchmark. You'll still be getting above 200 FPS with our 9070 XT. So if you're a casual gamer who prefers 4K or just want to utilize your 4K monitor, it's doable with the 9070 XT. Fortnite performance mode is a different story now at 4K resolution. We are now both GPU bottleneck and the difference is very clear here. You'll still be getting more than 400 FPS with our 9070 XT. However, you'll be at a much lower frame rate with our 6700 XT. And yes, although that FPS is still higher with the RX 6700 XT, the difference in the lows is something you would definitely want to consider in this game. Moving to Valorant 4K and we are now also both GPU bottleneck here. And to be fair, both of these cards are viable in this resolution. However, with the 9070 XT, you will still be running at more than 800 FPS while you're only confined to about 500 FPS with the 6700 XT. However, if you just play Valorant all day, it's definitely not worth upgrading to the 9070 XT as you'll be good at 1440p with the 6700 XT, right? And like I said, no one really plays 4K in this game unless you're a bit of a casual gamer. In PUBG 4K, yeah, this one's definitely a night and day difference. That's almost double in terms of raw frame rates with the 9070 XT. You're still able to hit that 200 FPS as well with the 9070 XT while you're only getting about 100 FPS with the 6700 XT. And as I've mentioned before, playing at the higher resolution with PUBG will give you that visibility advantage. So upgrading to the 9070 XT is definitely a straight yes if you play this game. In Helldivers 2, 
to 4K native medium settings, once again, we are back at playable and non-playable in terms of contrast. You'll be getting about 80 FPS with the 9070 XT at 4K resolution, while with the RX 6700 XT, you'll be limited to peasant levels of performance. The RX 9070 XT just plainly gives you the ability to play these non-PVP games at 4K resolutions, which is amazing. In Path of Exile 2, it's the same story here with the RX 6700 XT, even with upscalers, you'll be limited to non-playable experience. While you will be at a playable experience with the RX 9070 XT, and with Cyberpunk 2077 4K with upscalers, it's the same story here, right? Once again, we have playable experience with the 9070 XT at one end, and you have non-playable experience with the RX 6700 XT on the other end. As I've said, this just highlights that upgrading to the 9070 XT will broaden your gaming horizons, especially for these single player games. And playing at 4K from 1440p on these games is clearly a different experience. In terms of VRAM consumption, you're only using about 8 gigabytes for this game, which is fine. However, it's the performance that's just different with the RX 9070 XT. Bro, I knew that we were going to get a lot of FPS jumping from the RX 6700 XT to the RX 9070 XT, but I wasn't expecting 200% increase on certain games. That's a lot, right? So this is definitely a worth upgrade if you can find an RX 9070 XT at a decent price. However, one other car that you may be considering if this is too expensive is the RTX 5070. Yes, the non-TI, that could be something that you might be considering depending on your region pricing. Well, we actually did a video wherein we compared the RTX 5070 non-TI against this guy, the 9070, in this video right here, which the results are actually quite interesting. So, click this video. I'll see you guys over there.